if you look at the way that these uh, we've been talking about Tina for as long as I can remember, because it's all the way back until the wake of the great financial crisis. How much have things changed for investors a generation or two that now have to actually think about whether or not risk free rates are better than stock returns in some cases? Yeah, good morning. I'm going to go to the top us there. But, yeah, it really is a new paradigm. You need to think about you know, the last um, what you said, you know, it's been almost a generation of investors who have really experienced, you know, this ultra low uh, zero interest rate policy. And when you think about the next macroeconomic cycle, there's going to be plenty of forces that are ultimately going to be driving prices permanently higher. You know, there was news over the weekend um, looking, you know, Apple uh, semiconductor, you know, supply chain manufacturer Foxconn moving uh, over to India from from China. And you know, a lot of reshoring you know, taking place here in the United States while you still have really challenging demographics, um, you know, impacting the labor market in a pretty significant way, higher prices uh, ultimately translating into uh, higher interest rates, which means, you know, a really ideal environment for bond market investors and also equity investors who are stock pickers when we have a, a you know, real rate of return being positive for the first time in a long time. And um, counter that with just the you know, backdrop from valuation standpoint. You know, our view is that we're not, you know, through the earnings revision cycle that, you know, we're expecting to continue over the next quarter or so. Um, and the equity risk premium, you know, on the S&P 500 is the lowest since 2007. So not only are we really in an environment where there's some great alternatives here, you know, long term as we, you know, reset into this new uh, economic cycle, but there's really, and I think in the short term, you know, as well, you know, investors should be focused more, more so on the bond side of the portfolio than stocks. Uh, t Tim, we know that every investor is unique in their needs, their, their desires, their wants, their risk profiles. But, but is there a general way that you were approaching this market with regard to how you divvy up your kind of, you know, bank type investments? And when, when I say that, I mean CDs and savings accounts versus treasury type investments versus equities. Where's the tipping point? Where's the balance, generally speaking, in your mind? Yeah, I would say, you know, recently we've been really trying to position our duration up a bit higher. You know, we're, we're being compensated to do so. We're taking our risk exposure out on the fixed income side of the portfolio. Um, you know, beyond some of those more conservative investments, you know, like CDs, like treasuries, although, you know, we have taken our underweight towards treasuries up quite a bit, um, just given that we're being compensated for, you know, taking on, um, you know, very little risk, you know, as far as treasuries are concerned. But, you know, as far as, you know, looking outside those areas, the fixed income markets, there's, you know, areas within, um, you know, credit, securitize, um, really, especially on the consumer side of things where you really don't have to take on too much duration risk and you're still able to get, you know, yielded maturities up in the high single digit, low double digit type of environment um, without taking on abundance of, of credit risk either. And so, you know, I'd say it, it's a mix. You know, we used to be, you know, in the 60-40 environment where typically we were encouraging investors to take on a little bit more uh, equity exposure within their portfolio to make sure that we're able to get to, you know, what they need for retirement. But, you know, in this environment, I think, you know, we're dusting off the old 60-40 playbook that uh, we sort of shelved, you know, for the better part of 15 years.